Big event coming up this week at the Qatar Open, which is a 1,000 event every second year, and this year it's a 500 event. Defending champion Igor Sviantec should be back in action. And we've got a lot of players that we haven't seen since the Australian Open playing in this one, but we do have some withdrawals, so let's go have a look at who's not going to be playing. The three names that are pulled out of this event, Ons Jabeur, she's had surgery, so she's out for a few more weeks. Contemate also pulled out with injury. Sabalenka still celebrating that Australian Open win. She is also not going to be playing this event. So starting at the top of the draw, top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Igor Sviantec, the defending champion, buy in the first round. She awaits the winner of a qualifier versus Danielle Collins. Now, Collins and Sviantec, of course, played at the Australian Open last year, but Collins got a win. So that's a very interesting matchup in the second round. Then we've got Azarenka, the wild card. Very strange to see that. Taking on Ois, who's the Turkish wild card. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or the seventh seed, Bencic in the second round. Bencic having a great season so far. Then we've got Goff, the number four seed, getting a bye in the first round. She awaits the winner of Kvitova versus Song, who are going out in the first round. Then we've got Kennan, the wild card, taking on Samsonova, who's in very good form, Samsonova. Winner of that match will take on either Krajikova or the number eight seed, Kudamatova, in the second round. Very fun top half of the draw, stacked event, and a lot of unseeded players that are sort of in the top 20. So it's a very, very interesting event and a lot of really good matchups in the first two rounds. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, and one of the best matches of the first round. Number five seed, Zachary, takes on Zhang, who just made the semifinals last week. In fact, both ladies made semifinals last week in their respective events. So, huge first round matchup. Winner of that match will take on either Alexandrova or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Mukova versus Trevison. Winner of that match will take on the number three seed, Garcia, who gets a bye in the first round. Then we've got Kazakina, the sixth seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Bedosa or Haddad Meyer, another blockbuster first round matchup. Up. They'll play in the second round, but man, that is a, a crazy match again. Then we've got Keys versus Ostapenko. Again, another insane matchup. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Pagula, in the second round. That part of the draw, that's bottom section. So, so stacked. Kazakina Pagula, but also had Dad Meyer, Keys, Ostapenko. And we don't even know who the qualifier is because that could be Pliskova or Fernandez who are in the qualies at the moment. So, huge draw. Massive section of the draw, that bottom part. But man, it's going to be a hell of a tournament. So there it is. That is the draw for the Doha Open, the Qatar Open. And it's so stacked. Even though it's only a 500 event, it is stacked. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? Of course, Fiontek, the defending champion. She, uh, you know, she played very well in this part of the uh, on this part of the season. This is where the streak started at this event last year. Uh, the the Fiontek streak, of course. But let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win? Maybe Benchich, maybe Fiontek, maybe somebody else.